Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're at Red Top Mountain State Park in North Georgia. Weather is beautiful. It is dinner time, so y'all stay tuned. <music> stoked we got the most primo site out here All right, let me show you around so first of all bathrooms up there it's like a nice back end site we're right on the water got a nice easy trail to get down the water to go do some fishing and then we got a little extended area out back here where a fire pit is and as long as it don't rain we're gonna be in great shape and no uh, expected rain. I even scored a couple pieces of firewood already. So, uh, yeah, so we're pulling out everything now. Got the canopy out over the table, keep the leaves off of it because it's beautiful fall weather. I swear the weather could not be more perfect right now. We just had a great time out on the lake. And so now we're going to get our camp set up, get comfy, and uh, hey. Gonna get out a Dutch oven, cook a great dish for you. Okay guys, this is camp cooking. So we got a simple Dutch oven dish for you today. It's gonna be seared uh, Italian sausage with cabbage and apples. We've got this great fresh, uh, these are actually smoked Italian sausages from Carol Sausage and Meats in, um, in South Georgia. So let me cut away right now and show you that great, great sausage place. So we're here, uh, Georgia. We're stopping at a place I've always wanted to stop at. It's Carol's Sausage and Country Store. They got some good stuff in there. We're gonna go take a look at it. We're gonna get some to cook up. Okay, so we got our charcoals getting ready. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is just prep. We're not gonna need all this sausage for, uh, this was uh, this was a full, uh, a full link. You know, they make it in the big full size links. You can see this is all hand tied, handmade. Uh, we sampled some at the store, unbelievable. So today's dish, we're only gonna need about half a pound and we're gonna cut them in about six inch long pieces. These are hand tied sausages. So you might wanna cut that extra little uh, bit of the casing off of them. And we'll put those right over here on our plate. And we're gonna, what we're gonna do is brown those off first. But while we're doing that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut a uh, large red onion. And we're just gonna cut it into slices. Okay, so I said cabbage and apples. There's cabbage and apples. We cut the onions. These apples, we're just going to cut right down the center and leave the core in them. We got a bowl here. Right down the center. Pink lady apples work great for this. I couldn't find them. Those are, uh, I believe those are honey crisps. So then we're going to take a half a cabbage for this size dish. We're kind of doing this for two here. But if you're making it for more people, then use more in about half inch cuts. So we got our charcoal getting ready over on the fire pit with our uh, new Dutch oven camp grill grate that we showed y'all how to make. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna leave you a link uh, in the description box and on a card, it's gonna pop up right over here somewhere. So we got a full ring of charcoal underneath our number 10 Dutch oven. 
You see that's smoking hot. We, we've tried, well, here's our uh, plate you've seen us make. Again, I'll leave you, yeah, I'll lift you the card up there. You can go see how to make that. Uh, cheap and easy, we did ours for free actually. Uh, I'm gonna roll that oil around. You see it's full ring underneath plus one in the center. Let's go ahead and dump in our Italian sausages and get them going. We're gonna leave the lid off though. So here's what's going on guys. Wind is blowing, uh, 15 right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on her and I'm gonna take and uh, just kind of load that lid up. That was our camp made uh, collapsible charcoal chimney we used there today. See us pack that if you watched our packing video. Just kind of scrunch those to the outside. Let's get some heat in this pot. We give them apples about two, three minutes head start. Man, they smell awesome. Now we're gonna flip them over. Starting to get a little brownness on them. Picking up some of that flavor from that sausage. Wow. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our onions, kind of nestle them down in between them. This is a sweet red onion. So we got our good old uh, camp multi-seasoner. That's some salt, about a half a teaspoon. Black pepper, a eh, quarter teaspoon or so. Some garlic, eh, it's garlic salt, so we'll just go real light with that. And I'm gonna hit her also with just a touch of cayenne. Don't tell Mrs. Backwoods. That sweetness is gonna, and the onion and the apple is really gonna counteract that. All right, lid back on her and go for a few more minutes and we'll add the cabbage. Let's try to keep those coals back from the edge. Keep ash from dripping, uh, falling in. And every once in a while, I like to bang the pot with my lifter. That just lets that drop. Okay, we gave them onions a little head start there. Let's carefully take off our lid. Yeah, you see they're softening up nicely. The apples are starting to soften. So now we're coming in with the cabbage. Just gonna kind of nestle it down in there between the apples and with the apples. Kind of break up your pieces a little bit. Don't have to be fancy, this is camp food. All right, right back in with our sausages. We'll kind of ease them around. All right, now it calls for a full recipe, one cup of apple cider. I, uh, only thing I could find was Angry Orchard hard cider, but that alcohol is gonna cook out of there. And it's just a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And just a little splash of that. So we're also gonna go back in, so we add more ingredients, we're gonna season again. Just a little bit of salt and a little bit more pepper. Now 
man, the wind is really blowing. Let's get the lid back on. We'll check on that in about 10 minutes. We have had an absolute great time here today. We got here at daylight, daylight. Uh, I, you know, I'm gonna throw you some clips in here of uh, some of the footage we, we took uh, as we came in this morning. Uh, we decided to go uh, rent a boat uh, and take it out on Lake Alatoona. So y'all check this out. All right, guys, we're here with Brendan at Paradise Boat Rentals at the Park Marina at um, Red Top Mountain State Center. Park. Yeah. He's given us the uh, rundown. We're going to rent this uh, nice little bay liner 19 footer with a 150 on it and go see this place from the lake. So, all right, guys, sure. we're underway. We're getting ready to go uh, exploring Alatuna Lake. It's going to be awesome. It's so pretty. The leaves are starting to change. been about 30 minutes let's go ahead and take a quick look see i'm saying done looks awesome it really does look awesome so i'm gonna take the lid off now we're gonna shake that off right down into our camp pit there i'm gonna go ahead and pull this off set it aside let it cool a minute luckily we have a uh, concrete picnic table here so i'll set it right there and just let it cool off so there's our uh, here's our little free Dutch oven table we made. All we got to do with this right here now, on this type of grill, we got a fire pit here, is to just push the coals off. But if you have the little camp grill, these holes you can take your your Dutch oven lifter. See how I put it right in that hole, and I can actually dump them back under the grill like that, just like that. All right, and it's nice and clean and ready for the next time. We're gonna start a fire, so we'll shake off the lid right down in the fire pit. So Mrs. Backwoods decides to come over here and start our campfire up using our remaining charcoals. And there it goes. She's got her little stuff in there, and we got a bunch of stuff over there. So, getting that kind of time of day, it's cooling off. And we're going to go down to the beach down here in a little bit after we eat and watch the sunset over the mountains. Y'all stay tuned for that. She's building the Girl Scout teepee fire. Rained a couple days ago, so some of the wood's a little wet yet. It looks like it's doing all right. All right, folks, time for the plate backwards gourmet style. Today, you know, camping video, nothing special. Gonna go in there and get one of those beautiful apples. Oh my God, it's just tender and juicy. You know, it still does have the core in it. We remember we didn't cut the core out of those. You just kind of you've braised them like this those onions and cabbage you can just eat that almost the whole thing 
right on there like that. Let's bring in some of that Carol sausage, fresh Italian, smoked Italian actually, smoked Italian sausage. Oop. A little, got a little downhill on my picnic table here. Right there, that's a beautiful meal. Back with gourmet style. So it's dinner time. Let's go in, give that a try. Those apples have permeated all the other veg in there. The cabbage still got a little crunch to it. That's the way I like it. Mm. That was apple and some onion. Let's try this. Carol sausage. Oh. Mm. If you guys are driving up I-75, um, just south of Cordell, Georgia, you'll find Carol sausage right there on the side of the interstate. Got to stop if you love sausage and smoke meats as much as I do. So one thing I've noticed over the years of doing this YouTube channel is the people notice stuff in the background of our videos. So in the background of this video, there was this guy, Mr. Pumpkinhead. So everybody who, uh, you know, down in the comment box uh, can put in, you know, comment on how many times that Mr. Pumpkinhead is in the background of this video, or right now actually. We're going to give you a shout out in the next video. So make sure you leave a comment. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet. If you like what we're doing, please hit that like button right down there to subscribe to our channel. You can do it right here for another great Backwoods Gourmet video. It's going to be right there. And for a whole playlist of cooking with cast iron and Dutch ovens, it's going to be right up there. We'll see you next time.